Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav, and in today's session, I am going to cover SAS intro questions based on combined data sets. So let's move on to the first question. What are the various ways to combine data sets in SAS? And answer is set statement, proc append, data step merge, proc SQL joins, proc SQL set operators. Hash object. So, guys, I have highlighted hash object here. So, only mention if you are pretty sure about hash object concept. Otherwise, there is a strong possibility that interviewer would ask the next question on hash object only. Let's move on to the next question. What is interleaving? So, interleaving is mixing of observation or sandwich the observations. While combining the data sets into the final output data. So let's read the answer first. Interleaving happens when set statement is used with a by statement with multiple data sets. Values are arranged according to by group variable in the order of data sets in which they present. Interleaving only happens when we use by statement in with set statement. What is the condition to use the by statement? Data sets. Should be sorted. Let's understand this with example. Here we have two data sets. Data set one that has three variable and four observations, and data set two has two variables and four observations. And common variable is ID. Here I have wrote one SAS code. So here data combine set one and two. We are combining two data sets one and two. With ID variable, and this one is the output. So let's understand how this is processing. So here we can see we have two observations which have the lowest ID that is one, and into this second data set we have one observation that has the ID value one. So while combining, okay, and while appending, which observation should read? Because we have the lowest value one in the by. And both the data sets are sorted with ascending. Okay, so if duplicate values comes, then the observations from the first data set is read, and once that by group observations from the first data set is read, then the remaining observations are read from the second data set for that particular by group. So here, if the by group of two observations and by group of one observation is created, so in that case, two observations are read from the first data set and written to the output data set. So here you can see two observations are written to the output data set, and value of salary variable is missing because these variable is not present into the first data set, and then it reads the first observation from The second data set and in brought into the output data set. So here you can see the value of credit score and year is missing because these two variables are not present into the second data set. And the value of eighty thousand is written to the output data set for salary. For the next observation, here is the three and here is the value two. So two comes before the three. So that's why this observation is written to the output data set. So here you can see this observation is written to the output. Next we have Value of three, and this one here is three. The case is similar to one, so it will read the first two observations from the first data set, and then it will read the next observation from the second data set. And for the last observation here, uh, we have only four, and here we do not have a four value, so it, the observation would read from this data set. So now, guys, you can see that the observations are mixing, interleaving. So here, two observations are from the first data set, then it's from second data set. This one is from second data set. So unlike appending data set, where all the observation from the second data set is add at the bottom of the first data set, this is not happening here. So that's why we use the interleaving concept. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any questions, you can mention into the comment section. Let's move on to the next question. What is one-to-one -one reading? Oblique one-to-one -one matching. So let's read the answer first. Then I will explain. The process of combining observations from two or more data sets into one observation using multiple set statement is called one-to-one -one reading. Oblique one-to-one -one matching. The total number of observation in new data set are equal to the number of observations in the smallest data set 
so when we read observations from multiple data set and write into the one data set that is merging this is called merge so we achieve this using merge statement also but the same thing we are trying to achieve here with multiple set statement that's why we are calling it one to one reading or one to one matching okay so here the most important thing is the interviewer would not ask the one to one reading concept but interviewer most probably ask the question here how many observations would be there into output data set so the number of observation into the smallest data set while we are doing one to one reading would be into the output data set so let's understand this with example so here we have two data set data set 1 and data set 2 data set 1 has three variables and two observations and data set 2 has two variables and four observation and id is the common variable here here is the code data combine set 1 set 2 so here we are using multiple set statements to combine the data and this one is the output okay so let's see what is happening here so for the first set statement first observation is read from this first data set because it has not written to the output data set because output statement is always invisible until or unless we specify explicitly and this is just before the run statement it's invisible but it's just before the run statement so the first observation is read from the data set 1 and the first observation is read from the second data set 2 so this observation is read from second this is from first and this observation is merged and it is written to the output data set so you can see that the value of id id is same so it is written here credit score 600 and year 2022 and salary is 80000 for the next observation this observation is picked from the first set statement and this observation is picked from second data set and in final data set what is written 2 400 2020 and 75000 so here you can ask that okay uh, here i value of id is 3 and here the value is 2 and 2 is written here so you can see that in the first statement the first observations common variables would be overwritten or replaced by the value of the observation of second data set so here id is common so the value of id is overwrite the value of id for the first data set so that's why the value of 2 is written to the final output data set and when it try to read the third observation so you can see here there is no third observation so what will arrive here e o f e o f stands for end of file marker so here there is no observation so how this uh, data step terminates while reading the data set using set statement so once e o f arrive data step gets terminated for the first data set uf arrive and so this will terminate the whole program since output statement is invisible so it will go here there is nothing into the output and second set statement is not executed so that's why only two observations are written to the final output data set and these two from the second data set this will not process or not written to the output data set i hope this is clear to you guys let's move on to the next question which is better proc append or set statement i'm sure most of you guys know this let me explain this okay first read the answer if we are combining only two data sets then proc append is better it adds observations from second data set to the end of first data set it does not process any observation from first data set whereas in set statement observations are processed from both data sets so if we are using proc append then there is benefit because it does not read or process the observation from the first data set so only the observation from the second data set all the observation would process read and attach to the first data set that's why this is fast and this is efficient but there is a problem the problem is it can only append two data sets it can work only on two data sets if we have more than two data set we cannot use it also if there is number of variables are not similar maybe one data set has x number of variables and second data set has y number of variables then it will not process so for that we need to use the force option okay i hope guys this is clear to you okay so let's move on to the next all right guys so this topic is complete here and i hope you get it so for next i will uh, try to create questions based on data step merge so till then take care and bye